Hey Hondo. You want to tell everybody about vacuum breakers, aka siphon, anti siphon devices? Okay, I'll do it then. Hi, YouTube. Hi, El Mundo. Como están? I'm doing well myself. Uh, vacuum breakers. Say it pretty much every day. And. You know, then I write it every day too. That being said and written, this is a vacuum breaker. It goes on the end of your hose bib, spigot, and the idea is that if there's a hose attached to it, and that hose is say in a bucket. Um, in theory, it could work here too, but this valve is like a vacuum breaker, I think. Um, <clears throat> pretend this is your bucket and there's the hose going into it. And for some reason, the pressure at the, city, at the street where the utility is is reversed. If, like there's a leak in the line or something, um, the utility line. Um, or there could be, you know, a couple reasons why that would happen none of which really would matter too much to you as a homeowner, except because you got this thing on there. This basically like a, like a snorkel, like a, like a self-training snorkel. You can see there's a little flap in there. And what it does is it keeps the water from the bucket from going back into this water supply and then contaminating it. Cause you've got like, you know, I mean, this bucket, like birds bathe in it, the dogs drink out of it, everything's like just a mess. All that water would go into the water supply and contaminate possibly your water supply or the city water supply and your neighbors. And that's why, like, you know, sometimes they issue boil water notices and stuff uh, when there's contamination, cross-contamination. Um, this one has been disabled. Um, there's a set screw. There's a little screw that you have to put on here. It comes on there, and then when it gets inspected, they have to see that the set screw is broken off. Um, but this one was being really noisy. And because I have a trailer hooked up to the water supply at times, um, and anytime water runs through there, it makes this horrible whining sound. So I had to cut the set screw off. You have to basically cut across it and that'll free it up and then you can unscrew it if you try to do it without and i mean i've got lots of pictures but i've never made a video about it if you try to do to take this vacuum breaker off without taking the set screw off you will strip all the threads off and then you won't be able to put anything back on and you'll have to change the valve and you'll call plumber and the plumber will be like oh yeah you had to take that set screw off and you find out the hard way but if you watch youtube videos uh, I'm not going to show you how to do this because, you know, you're not um, a plumber, but uh, there are a lot of videos out there that explain this same thing. Anyway, hope you guys have a nice day, and that's vacuum breakers for you. Hondo thinks it's food. Look at that. I get to watch out for him and his teeth. Beautiful day here in Austin today. Uh, it's a little hot, but I don't talk about the heat. Because if you're here, I mean, it's just hot. That's how it is. Have a good day.